Hi Richard, I uh, wanted to give you a quick video of the car so you can get a better look at it. I know it's hard um, buying something uh, without being able to come see it, but you know, as you can see, the wheels and tires are in great shape. The uh, paint and body's in good condition. I would definitely color sand, buff the car, fix any areas where it has, uh, you know, needs to be touched up, but um, you can see the detail on the motor is really good. This is the radiator that I, I had cleaned out, new water pump, new hoses, Rebuilt the carburetor, but everything else is in really good condition. And, uh, of course, you asked about the window glass. It's all here. And then the rumble seat. This is the original rumble seat. All the frame is here, including the bottom frame, all the hardware. This is the original rumble seat hardware. Um, you can see I, I pulled the floor up for you so you can see there's no cancer in the floor. The floor is super sanitary. All the... The wood structure is in great condition. Um, back glass is in. The bumpers with the step. Over to this side. You can see the glass. And then the motor on this side. I did put new radiator hoses on everything. All the wiring's in place. All of the controls are in place. This is the fender I was telling you about that got burned through that would need a little bit of work. But I mean, you know, overall, it's in, you know, it's a great, great uh, start to, uh, of course, a very finishable car. I have the floor out, um, but you can see how the transmission has all been redone and painted. And, uh, you know, the all the window glass is in here, the regulators, original seat, uh, all the springs. It actually has some of the original covering on it. Um, but it's pretty torn up. The springs are in great shape though, and all the wood, and then all the wood inside the car is in really good shape. The roof has all been redone. There's the, the new roof. And then the windshield brackets are all here. There's the windshield frame. I just, I took the floor out when I was kind of going through and working on everything. And then all the metal pieces for the floor and the retainer for the battery will go underneath and you can, see how clean the underneath of this thing is so everything is really detailed painted gloss black um we'll go all the way to the back here so you can see that the the uh body is all um painted to match all the underneath of the fenders are all repainted black uh he rebuilt just about everything on this car it uh it really isn't in great shape all the suspension's in good condition. Oh, sorry about the video. Oh, I'm just doing this quickly for you. Um, you know, all the front suspension has been redone, but uh, it's a good looking car. I do have the cowl off. The cowl is right there on the ground. Um, so you get an idea. You know, it's in good shape. I'd probably do some paint work on the cowl, but it's, it's really straight. No major dents or anything. But... Uh, that's the Model A. Um, give you an idea of the builds that I do. This is a 49 Cadillac. It's almost finished. Uh, this has full air ride suspension. It's actually sitting up, airbagged up right now, but it sits completely on the ground. This is probably one of my more mild builds. So it has um, dark red interior, Mercedes-Benz carpet. Um, all the door panels completely rebuilt. I did the burgundy to match the the uh, burgundy interior. And then this actually has a full late model running gear. So it has a 700 R4. It has a, a North Star Cadillac motor, all fuel injected. Everything's hidden, smoothed. Um, but, you know, I, I didn't mind taking the guts out of this one because there really weren't any. And it was, it was a disaster when we started. And... Uh, and this is how it looks now. It's, it's turned out to be a pretty amazing build, but uh, I just can't see tearing that Model A apart to make a hot rod. It just does not make sense. It is way too nice of a car. So anyway, uh, I will talk to you tomorrow. Thank you.